So what is up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome everybody to another NASCAR Diecast review on Martin Truex Jr.'s 2023 Bass Pro Shops Toyota Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing. But you guys can see that, yeah, what I'm showing you is actually a Diecast that, well, guess what? For the fourth time in his career, Martin Truex Jr., your 2017 NASCAR Cup Series champion, won at the Dover International Speedway. And the reason why I have to put emphasis on the is because, well, Martin Truex Jr. won on an important day that we're going to get on to very second as we're going to get on to this diecast unboxing and official diecast review of Martin Truex Jr.'s Dover Race Winning Diecast. And alrighty, folks, we got this diecast out of its box. And you guys can see that this thing is absolutely loaded with confetti, which, by the way, if you guys are wondering what day I was trying to say Martin Truex Jr. won on, well, if you guessed Monday, you are absolutely correct, just like that fish in the Bass Pro Shops logo. I mean, he looks like a cat, like a happy trouter or something like that. But I'm pretty happy to see this diecast because, first of all, Martin Truex Jr. finally won a race after, what, like 54 races? I mean, well, <laughs> let's just say I was a lot more happier to see that. And for anybody who wants to watch some entertainment about this race, well, let's look at the press conference with Martin Truex Jr. Uh, literally roasting uh, one of the freaking um, interviewers or one of the... Um, media personnel when uh, she was asking him about that question so <laughs> but um that'd be appropriate time to actually review this car because of considering with what just recently happened at richmond so um you know my whole thought on that since you guys know i'm a big march x junior fan i mean all i can say is when you push people to their absolute finest like you, you see that you saw that with Martin Truex Jr. I mean, I've seen this kind of context before with Carl Edwards and many other things, but I mean, heck, uh, that's all I'm going to say right there as we're trying to get stayed motivated to do the diecast review of this, which I mean, this is the first time I've actually am reviewing a Martin Truex Jr. Gen 7 raced winner because as you guys know 2022. Well, you know, we, we, we don't have to talk about 2022. That was a pretty bad uh, that was a pretty bad season for a Truex fan, but it rounded things off with the Clash win in 2023, which I've still yet to get that diecast because, well, I looked at this and, I mean, heck, Truex won in this past Pro Shops car, like, well, like three times, and this is probably the best one I will have to say. I mean, I am kind of bummed that they did not make his, uh, his Sonoma win, didn't make MOQ, but speaking of which, as we're now getting on to uh, the nice little uh, details on this, I'm telling you guys more about that. But um, you see the nice uh, metallic finish that we got up on top because you guys know this is very similar to Noah Gregson's uh, Bass Pro Shops uh, car from, uh, what, like a few years ago. Fun fact, they even brought that back as well um, from the uh, Xfinity series. But you see, um, definitely a lot of uh, a lot of Truex fans were happy during this day, man. Um, especially if you guys haven't heard the story about his brother, Ryan Truex, was actually able to... Uh, well, let's just say, kind of like what the Bush brothers used to do, uh, well, the Truex brothers followed in that footsteps, man. They got it done, and they won the, the Dover weekend. <laughs> it was a weird weekend, to say it the least, but, man, I just can't get enough. I mean, I know a lot of people don't really like cars with confetti on this, but... It, 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 you got to admit the and appreciate the little details that we got on this diecast. I mean, um, you know... I, I know some sponsors don't really like the uh, the full uh, confetti on this, um, but in this case, I mean, it looks like the windshield probably got the most of it. My only gripe, I have to say, I know I am pretty nitpicky when it comes to NASCAR diecast. I really wish, if they can, since these things are basically a miniature 124 scale diecast, why can't they put uh, the uh, the printing of the of the uh, confetti on the uh, side windows? And they do that on the 124s, so maybe that's something to keep in mind. But you can definitely pick this diecast up from my good buddies at Spoiler Diecast. Hope you guys aren't spoiled enough to uh, find some good deals like those guys right there but for real really proud to be uh you know a partner with them and we're gonna see how this journey goes and um i don't know maybe some more surprises will come a long way very soon from uh spoiler diecast but check them out with the promo code down below and also you can find this in the uh, newest uh nascar authentics uh winner circle wave six at your local targets and meyer uh fun fact i think they also are selling these diecasts actually on uh, the jgr website so but as you guys can see, I mean, look, this thing is absolutely just, I mean, it's got, you know, the burned out rubber because Martin Truex Jr. loves to burn the, the Goodyear Eagles off this thing. And this thing is just literally like, literally the confetti is like melted into the paint scheme. You could almost mistake this as like a patriotic car. But, um, okay, I just noticed something that's, um, okay, so I have noticed something that might look a little off. A lot of people are going to be like, why is there no NASCAR Cup Series logo? Now, that did freak me out at once as, um, 
well, the bottom line is, because I do want to actually uh, look at the uh, more finer details of this, there's no NASCAR Cup Series logo, I, uh, uh, ironically also, not only on uh, both sides, but on the actual car as well. So that's not a mistake for Lionel, so I can't say anything about that. But I'm guessing because they had the NASCAR Salute logo right there, they couldn't find any placement to put the Cup Series logo. So, and plus, I mean, not the end of the world, but I understand people wanted to point that out. But um, I love the exhaust detail that we got right here on the rocker uh, arms, or rocker panels. Uh, just really cool with the TRD branding. Of course, you know, uh, th this is uh, <laughs> it's pretty, it's going to be, a, we better not get used to how these Toyota Camrys look because you guys know we are going to need a brand new mold coming in for 2024 around summertime. But um, yeah, I mean, again, looking at those details of this real quick as we're going to get on to uh, another interesting part of this review, which is, uh, well, last week, actually, since we already know what the confetti looks like, we're going to go ahead and showcase the side-by-side -side comparison of the original Martin Truex Jr. car, and I'm kind of glad I'm doing this comparison because I've noticed this, this on the Clash car as well, but the camouflage is actually a lot more different. Um, I mean, of course, it, well, of course there's a big difference, OBB. I mean, heck, uh, one has confetti, one doesn't, so, <laughs> but I just like doing this because, you know, I we, we will have those uh, topics and, you know, discussions on our social medias, be like, oh, they're going to release this car how many times and it's the same paint scheme? Well, te technically not. The paint scheme is not really the same. And you guys can see there is some differences. Of course, there is a Cup Series logo, which is pretty reminiscent. But um, I think the Clash car was like this, too. There, the, the Clash car, I think, was about like a lighter tone. I'm not quite sure why they changed the camouflage, but um, I kind of prefer the darker background because it's a little harder to read the Tracker uh, Boats logo. But hey, whatever, though. I mean, I, I'm, sh I'm assuming they probably changed that for uh, the 2023 scheme. But um, there, it is slightly different. But um, I don't know. I mean, I, I just like the darker accents on that. But I don't know. I mean, I just thought that was a cool thing to point out on that die cast review. But again, the no NASCAR Cup Series logo is pretty darn funny. But um, and there's a top if you guys want to see that, which I think is the best part of this die cast. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, very interesting die cast review. I really wished I got this in uh, winter circles, but because uh, I love the packaging design on this. But so happy I finally got this die cast for you guys. And hey, more importantly, if you guys are new to this channel, uh, comment, like, subscribe for more. As this has been OBB, the die cast news guy as yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh, i don't know get on to uh, i don't know maybe i'm gonna go uh to daytona and uh check out the bass pro shops there um i don't know be back soon